All right, guys, I recently asked you what Windows power plan you're rocking. High performance, balanced, ultimate performance, or something your cat accidentally clicked when climbing your keyboard. Well, you spoke, and man, did you guys give me homework? I went through all of your comments and... 25 power plans? Really? I'm not complaining. Okay, maybe just a little, but you better smash that like button harder than your keyboard after losing a ranked match. You guys dropped game suggestions everywhere, from CS2 to PUBG, Valorant to whatever game your little brother swears he's good at. I listened, took notes, drank some questionable amounts of energy drinks, and came up with a comprehensive list. Then I thought I'd check out YouTube to find the ultimate guide to power plans and gaming, and what did I find? One video. Yep, just one. And surprise, no actual benchmarks. So, being the gaming scientist I am, I decided to put all these power plans to the test myself. All the power plans tested across the most requested games. And real benchmarks, not just opinions from someone's uncle's friend's neighbor. And now, for the moment you've skipped ahead to find the results. Which plan gives you ultimate FPS glory, and which one should be left in the recycle bin with your homework assignments? Let's jump right in. Starting with the interrupt to process latency. EXM Free and VTRL came out on top with latency between 90 and 110 microseconds. But does that really translate to better performance? Well, without wasting time, let's see for ourselves. In CS2, the Core V and Hybrid power plans performed the best when it comes to average FPS boost. And if you're looking for the best 1% lows, which you should, the winner was once again Core V, but this time followed up by EXM Premium. I also added Fragpunk to the list, as it just got released a few weeks ago, and it's a pretty cool game in my opinion. We didn't see much of a difference here. However, Kirby and EXM Premium took the first and second spot for highest average FPS, while Hybrid and EXM Premium showed the best 1% lows. In PUBG, on the other hand, we saw a good performance increase with some of the power plans. But Balanced and Atlas gave the highest average FPS, while Kizumo and Corvi had the best lows. In Valorant, we had Atlas and Balance taking the top two spots for average FPS, then Atlas again, and Nexus with the best lows. And finally, in Fortnite, we had Corvi and EXM Premium dominating everything else with a nice average FPS boost, as well as being the winners with the best 1% lows. But wait, there's more! We also decided to test the end-to-end -end latency, aka input lag, because nothing says fun like trying to shoot an enemy three seconds after you click the mouse button. So let's see if those plans can keep up. And the answer is yes. Well, with the exception of Power Saver, which equals your grandma's email checking power plan, and you should never use it anyway. So what's the conclusion? Well, clearly there isn't a one-fits-all plan, but there are best ones based on your use case. If you want the lowest possible latency, even though the difference is negligible, feel free to try one of the ones shown on the screen right now. And if you're trying to minimize stutters or improve your frame times, stick to one of those based on the game you play, or try them all and see which one works best for you. But overall, my top two picks to use as a daily driver would be Corvi's Power Plan and EXM Premium as a paid alternative. And to save you guys some time, we have all power plans available for download in our Discord. Come treat yourself and say hi. All right, now we've seen the benchmarks, but let's take this further. Time to hear what the community thinks. I went through the comments and saw some interesting takes on how to, and I quote, let your CPU think for itself. And you already know I had to try it. I opened up the service list, disabled the power service, restarted my PC, and went to confirm everything has went well, wrong, but hey, at least now my CPU has a mind of its own. So let's see if it's smart enough to get us a good FPS boost.